Hello and welcome back guys. So, so far we've learned how to actually send data and receive some kind of result here. But in order for us to make sure that uh, people do not send an empty, uh, let's go back to our categories.php in admin, in the admin folder and right here on the input, after autofocus, let's put, let's also put um, uh, required so that uh, we don't get just a, a little JavaScript validation there so that when I uh, actually that required won't work it will only work if we had an actual submit form so uh, that's okay let's remove it because uh, it's doing nothing but once we click to save we can actually check because we know the ID of the item is category. So let's come down here to our function where we collect the data. So the one that we are activating is send data, but we have to do the collect data first. So let's come back here and let's create a variable. So we're going to say variable, by the way, when you use var like this, you can also use let. Uh, it's the same thing. So var uh, category, let's name it that, is equal to uh, document, document dot add event listener. Oh, sorry, dot get element by ID. Now there's a Another way we can use to collect data from instead of using get element by ID and that one is oh we actually used it already here that's query selector so let's use that I kind of like this one better than get element from ID okay so query selector the item that we need to select is category which is exactly here so since we have this kind of uh, thing here Oh, that's category input. That's what we named it there. Let's do the same right here for consistency. So what we will do is check if everything is good. So we're going to put an if statement and say if category I input dot value, okay, dot trim so that we trim spaces before and after the end because somebody could type in some spaces and would consider that some input but we want to trim that so if category dot value to trim is empty then let's give them uh, a message here and we're going to say alert and we'll say please enter a valid a valid category name Okay, there we go. Uh -huh. So uh, it also can't be numbers, right? We don't want somebody to just enter numbers and so on. So uh, what we can do is not a number. We can use that. So let's do if category dot is equal to or is not a number that's how you write not a number the category there let's remove this equal sign so if it is not a number which means it's actually text so since this is not a number we will put an a not there so that we it's a not of a not that brings it back to positive so it's going to trigger this if it's actually a number. So let's give it a shot and see what happens. So now we have to change the function we are activating here. Oops, one second here, my computer is frozen. Okay, there we go. So let's give it a shot and see how that works out. So let's refresh and click there and let's try that. Oh, sorry. I forgot one thing we have to change this collect data 
let me just use send data to find what I'm looking for. So I'll find previous. There we go. Okay, so instead of send data, we're going to use uh, collect data like that. So that we go to that function instead. So click, click, please enter a valid category. Okay, that's cool. Even if we enter some spaces, save nothing. And also if we add some numbers, let's see that. Okay, so that doesn't work, but let's see if we add a bit of letters there. Okay, so that's acceptable, I guess. So let's go back down here. And if things get to this point, it means everything is okay. So we can actually send the data. So let's come here and do send data. And the data we are sending is this data, send data, which we will put here. And we're going to say um, data. That's what we'll call it, data, data. Okay, that's good enough because the reason we're doing this is we don't want to name it um, category or anything like that because we want this to be a general function we can use on any sort of data. All right, so, so far so good. Now data here is undefined. So we're going to say, we're going to send that. So let's put that there. The trimmed version of the input because that's all we are collecting at this point okay so goody goody let's go back to our um, uh, let's go to the controller the ajax controller so that we can see what we will collect here so refresh the page and let's try the category food and hit save so there we go we get data and food so that's good now let me come back here. Now what I want is for the, once I get the result that I want, where is the result here? Okay, so that's the result right there. So once I get, I get the result here, I want a couple of things to happen. For example, for the, uh, because we are not actually going to remove this from the page, it will just be hidden. So I want it to clear out the name here and then I want it to, what else can we do? I want to close this thing so that we can see something there. So instead of doing those things here, just to keep this function multi-purpose, I am going to create another function that will handle the result as usual. Handle result like that, that will be the name of our function. So let's create that function down here. So say function handle result, like so. Okay, so here instead of that, we're just going to say result. That's what we will call the result there. Yeah, good. Now the handle result also uh, should, uh, should know what to do with the result depending on uh, what's happening here what 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 we received back so we should know what to do with that so a good way to do so is to return some json data so that we can decipher what information what kind of data we have actually received that way we make our function more robust so i will say uh, before i do that actually for now, I think we can leave it on for it to just show us what has happened. Alert uh, result while we are still debugging. And then on top of that now, the functions that we use to close and show the add new. So we're going to call that function right here just after showing us the result and we'll call that function. In fact, we don't need to see the result here for now. We just call that function there. So let's give it a shot. I'll click there and type food and then hit save. Okay, so it seems we are not, we are getting an error here and caught reference E is not defined. So where is that? If I click here, I should be able to, oh, there we go, add new E. So right here, this is where the problem is. 
So let's see if we're actually using this uh, E in there. So we are not actually using the E, so we can forget about it. Let's remove it. So let me come back here. I can remove it now. And let's give it a shot. Food. And there we go. Okay, so, so far, so good. So click, type something, save. 